Hello, this is Eric. I'll be walking you through how to use Google Sites so that you can use this with your students to help increase their digital literacy through building websites on various projects. The first thing that we're going to need you to do is to log into Google Sites. I've already entered my login information, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And after that logs in, it's going to bring me to this page where you can see various websites that I've been working on. But what we're going to do is we're going to come down here off to the right where you see a little circle with a plus sign. This button creates a new site for you to work on. And we're going to go ahead and click that. And this is going to bring up your new site to work on. And you can see that it's in its default mode. We're going to go ahead and add a title onto the banner. So we bring our mouse over, we click on it, and we want the title to be something relevant to our website. This is going to be using Google Sites for school projects. We should probably name it something like that, not East Carolina Pirates Love Eating Tacos. So we're going to put it as Google Sites, using Google Sites, Sites for School Projects. Now, the banner in the background uh, can be changed. As you see over here, there's a change image, and Google gives us some default images that we can pick from. Um, they have some good ones. Or you can upload your own image. For example, you just come here to upload, and then you select one of your pictures. For example, I could use a picture of my face as the banner. Now that doesn't necessarily relate to using Google Sites for School Projects, so that's probably not the best one. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to Select Image, and I'm going to pick this one. I was looking at it earlier and, you know, drinking coffee and doing websites is Told what I think of when I think about using Google Sites. And then below that, we can we have some things that we can insert down here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to add a text box and enter the text about how this correlates to North Carolina teaching standards, as well as any other pertinent information.